Hello, my name is Mr. Dog, and today we're going to look at the Palkia V Star deck in Expanded. Palkia V Star has the subspace full attack, it has 60 base damage, but there's 20 more damage for each bench Pokemon in play. Because we play the Skyfield Stadium, which lets each player have 8 Pokemon on his or her bench, this means we can do a total of 380 damage. We also play one copy of Suicune V, which has the same attack, but it does 40 less base damage, but it's a basic, so it's easier to set up. And we have 280 HP, so we're going to be very difficult to one-hit KO, which is why we play Acerola, let's just put a Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all the cards attached to it into our hand. So basically it lets us heal our Palkia V-Star. We play Ditto Prism Star, which can evolve into any Stage 1. Either Mag Cargo, which has the ability to smooth over, let's just put any card we want onto the top of our deck. And we can even combine it with Oranguru, to draw into that card, let's just get any card we want, basically. The other stage one we play is Alolan Muk, which shuts off basic Pokemon's abilities. It can be a really good form of disruption for our opponent, and it also shuts down Sudowoodo's roadblock ability. Basically, this limits our bench to four Pokemon, which we don't really want because we want lots of bench Pokemon so we can do more damage. Okay, so I'm going to keep the introduction short and sweet. Let's get on to some gameplay. Okay, we're going first against Pikachu v Union by the looks of it. And they are playing Sudowoodo Bench, the roadblock Sudowoodo. So um, we might actually get a value out of the muck here. Not sure why I benched the Suicune, to be honest. That was a bit weird. Um, I looked at that without thinking. I uh, will get rid of a um, Melanie and Stretcher. Probably going to get a Ditto if it's in the deck. Nice. They hit this for weakness as well with the Pikachu v Union, which is a bit concerning. And uh, we'll attach an energy. Pass. So we'll definitely place the Crobat down before we um, ability lock. I'm worried about how ability locking will affect us though. Well, they're playing the Vault up to power up the Pikachu V Union, which is interesting. It's a shame they're doing all this on the first time. We could have, if they weren't able to do this until next time, we could have item, we could have ability locked them. Okay, so they're gonna horror house GX this. Can you use rule the region, I guess? Get a stadium. No, knocking us out. So it doesn't really hurt that much to have an extra trainer card in hand. Only doing 150 damage. Okay. So maybe we can get the knockout on this Gengar Mimikyu. I'm not in a very good position, are we? Um, because we can we can draw some cards with Crobat. We can't do much else. Let's just put this down. Maybe I should have discarded the Water of the Ultra Ball instead of Melanie, because then we could have drawn some cards of Melanie. Um, get rid of that Float Stone. Then we can draw two cards of Crobat, which isn't great. There's a, there's a um, research, I guess. That's pretty cool. So I might as well item lock them. Okay, nice. Okay, so we're doing exactly enough to knock them out. Some space swell. <clears throat> And hopefully they're in a bad position now because of the, the item locking. They've only got a two card hand. And you never know, they could be like a Dedene or a Crobat. And that'll stop them getting set up. Okay, so there's the Pikachu V Union coming down. We could potentially knock it out if they get locked to the bench Pokemon down. Or if we can just get a lot of bench Pokemon down as well, actually. The end is a bit annoying. Now this isn't a terrible hand, because we can dial the machine for a research or a Melanie. And we get the V-Star as well if they knock this out. I 
But if they use this, then that brings me down to one prize card, so I can just knock out like a Vault Orb or something. Well, they can item lock me. Um, that could be an issue. But I don't think it matters because I can just use the ability. It's lucky that they didn't use um, they didn't use the vault orb and then end me because I would have been end to one. Because I only had one prize card left, so I don't think we can do enough to knock them out. Sadly, we can play this, so we're not item locked. It might actually be worth doing that, to be honest. Pokemon Ranger. Um, so I might as well just train his mail. Um, I think this has been knocked out no matter what. Could get a knockout of Suicune, potentially, next turn. Star Portal. But we need to top deck an energy. And they're going to item lock me again, so I, I think I have to use the Dowsing Machine now. Grab Melanie, maybe? And smack this. So if they don't end me and they just attack me with this, then we can just win. I'm pretty sure. How many V-Seekers are they down? They're down three V-Seekers. So they might not have a way of ending me again. So I'm next play one N. Oh, Ace Trainer. Um, okay, that's fine. We've still got the energy. And the research. Okay, we just win. I thought this would be a really bad that matchup, but it was actually okay. That was actually pretty an interesting game. So we do more than enough to knock them out, I'm pretty sure. Blizzard Rondo for the knockout. Well, that's a cool animation. <laughs> I forgot it did that. Okay, we're going first against what's probably uh, Meloata Genesect. We're starting off with a Ranguru here. Because I don't want to start off with a two prize. I don't, I don't want them to get an easy two prize cards. So we'll bench this, hopefully get a V-Star next turn. Let's see what we can get off the trainer's mail. Research, I don't really want that, I don't think. I'd rather keep them in the deck for when I need them. I might want to get a Ditto Prison Star though. So we can evolve it into the Muck to shut off that Genesex, or maybe the Macargo if we need to. I'm going to Primate Wisdom in case they like Marnie me or something. Uh, so we'll probably put like a, the Dene on top of our deck. That seems fine. Might be able to draw into an energy as well. Okay, nice. Even if we didn't draw into an energy, it would have been it wouldn't have been the worst deal in the world because we could have potentially powered ourselves up in one turn using Melanie or our ability. So maybe it's not what I thought it was. That's still fine though because if if they're using this to attack, then they're not going to do enough damage to knock out my V-Star. And the Skyfield kind of helps me, we can do more damage. It might not even be playing anything that has that much health though, the highest HP Pokemon here so far is the Genesect. But we can KO that pretty easily, you probably don't even need the Skyfield, to be honest. They can't even knock out my Oranguru this turn. Oh, they're going to Guzman onto... okay. Well, they can get a knockout now, I guess. Now we can't get the Mag Cargo or the the uh, Muck, so that is kind of annoying. I'll, I'll just end with this, because there's no guarantee that I'll even get a Guzma, since I only play one in the deck. I don't really want to discard the V-Seeker, so I'm going to put that on top of my deck. Oh, Crobat, nice. So, I mean, 
I don't really need to dig anymore because I'm getting a knockout on this anyway. Um, but I am worried about them like goosmering onto my crowbar and knocking that out. Also, I want to set up other Palkias as well. Okay, there's one. Get a ball. Subspace swell. I just realized I don't even play. I don't think I play like a Tapu or a Luminion in this deck. Okay, that was a Guzma, nice. I probably should, because I have lots of one of supporters. I've got the bench space for it anyway, because of the sky field. So I'm going to Guzma onto my Dedene or a Crobat, I think. Oh, do they have like a Muscle Band? Oh, Power Tablet, okay. So they've used two Power Tablets so far. It just makes it harder for them to KO my V stars eventually. And they're already down a Guzma and two V Seekers. So they could potentially have one more V Seeker. So I think I think we'll Guzma onto their Genesect of the Float Stone. We'll get rid of Skyfield. So let's Guzma onto this. Let's uh, put this on top of my deck in case they money us. Oh, nice water energy. Three hundred damage, jeez. Shame they're not playing Mu V Max. <laughs> we could have KO'd Mu V Max. Taking free prize cards. So hopefully they don't have a V Seeker or a Guzma to knock out one of my benched two prizes. We can only Guzma one more time ourselves because we've only got one V Seeker left. I'm assuming that's their last V Seeker as well. Okay. Well, that's kind of helpful because we can just get rid of our liabilities. It would be annoying if they end us, but they used Guzma, so it doesn't matter. Oh, they got rid of their Genesex. That's actually smart. We can Echoing Horn, though. Can Echoing Horn. Let's draw some more cards. Discard this. I might have to like keep switching between Palkias then. Maybe N, N would have been better. Yeah, N, N would have been better, I think. Instead of Melanie Ink, because they don't have any more Genesex. Yeah, that was a mistake. We have the Tapu in hand as well. I was hoping they don't play four V Seekers or two Guzmas. I'm assuming it's just one Guzma, three V Seekers. That seems the normal thing. Most common, anyway. We can end them this turn if we survive. Maybe I should have gotten rid of Guru last turn because it has less health than the Dedene and they only have one prize card left. Okay, so they do play special charge, so they can attack more than four times, I guess. We could also ace a roller if it's not prized as well. That'll be pretty good. Let's put that 
on top. Waterable. Ace of Roller. Send this back up. We'll use the ability, why not get some more energies in the discard pile? And then some space swell. Oh, well, they do play four V seekers, damn. Get rid of Crobat and Tapu. I'm assuming they don't have the not the double dragon energy then. Okay. Oh no, we don't have a floatstone in the discard pile. Um well we can counter the stadium at least. Just need to find a floatstone. Let's just play some cards down. So thin out our deck as well. We do have two floats in the deck. Okay, so in Croba and Dedene this turn. Um, could potentially Chorus as well, if we need to. It doesn't really matter what I get back. We could get a quick ball to discard the Chorus, I guess. Then we'll Crowbat 5. Okay, no floatstone yet. Uh, Greninja. If we use Melanie here, we can see all of our deck other than one card. We're guaranteed the floatstone now. Okay, there we go. That's game. We've got both floatstones. I thought I lost there when they sent up, when they um, Guzmud the Guru, to be honest. Luckily, I didn't have the double dragon energy in hand. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I showed that Palkia V Star is not just a good deck in standard, but also expanded. Let me know what you think of this deck in the comments below. I'll see you for the next deck showcase. Bye!